हाई फ्रेंड्स दिस इज नरेश वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टेक्निकल टॉक्स विद नरेश कंटिन्यू विथ आवर प्ले लिस्ट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर अ वीडियो ऑन सब टेम्पलेट इन ओरकल फ्यूजन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू क्रिएट द सब टेम्पलेट इन ओरकल फ्यूजन एंड हाउ टू कॉल दैट सब टेम्पलेट इन टू द मेन टेम्पलेट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू अदर टॉपिक्स ऑल्सो यू कैन कमेंट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन कंटिन्यू टू आवर टॉपिक For preparing the sub template in Oracle Fusion, we have to go to our Oracle Fusion instance. So this is my catalog page of my Oracle Fusion instance. I will write all the steps which are required to execute this topic. So this is my notepad. My topic is sub template in an Oracle Fusion. So first step is create data model. For creating the data model, we need a query. So I am having one query with me. I am using that same query. So I am copy pasting that query. so i will also explain this query to you so what we are doing here so i am fetching the data from this two tables from the table po headers all i am fetch only this column and from the po lines table i am fetching this much of the columns and here is an a join condition between the po headers table and the po lines table which is po header id is the join condition or join columns and finally we are fetching the data of one po only so i had given here a dot segment one segment one is nothing but the our po number instead of giving the bind parameter i am hard coding the po number here okay so i am having one po number with me so i am hard coding that number so for creating the data model we require this query so i am just copying this query and i am going back to the oracle fusion instance so this is the catalog page in catalog page here is a new and here is a data model when i clicked on data model it will redirect me to the data model section so i am in the data model so here is the plus icon i have to create the new data set so click on this plus icon then here click on sql query then i am pasting that query which i had copied from the notepad here we have to give the name to the data models so i am giving the name sub template underscore dm dm is nothing but the data model and after that i am selecting the data source my data source is fusion db and i am clicking on okay when i clicked on okay it will generate the group for me so this is my group g1 which is having this much of the columns so now what i have to do i have to save this data model so where i have to save this data model i can save anywhere but in real time project we have to save the data model in shared folder then custom because this is the custom report and in custom if any specific folder is there you can save or there or you can create another folder i am creating one folder here nk underscore test and i am saving my data model into this folder with the name sub template underscore dm i am copying this name into the description section also and i am clicking on okay when i clicked on okay you can see over here my data model is saved okay now i have to generate the sample data so i am going to the data then after here is another view then i have to click on save as a sample data then now my data model is generated now what is the second step the second step is create the layout and template so i will write over here what is my second step create layout and template so for creating the layout and template i have to click on this create report button when i clicked on the create report button it will redirect me to the layout section so this is the layout section so wizard method is in front of me so i don't want to generate the layout or template by using this method so i am just clicking on cancel then click on okay and here is the option to upload the data model and i am browsing my data model my data model name is sub template underscore dm so i am selecting that so you can see over here my data model is uploaded to generate the template so i am just clicking on template and i am giving the name as sub underscore tmp underscore layout and i am just clicking on generate when i clicked on generate it will generate the template for us you can see over here now i have to save this template so i am saving this template at the same location with the name sub underscore template underscore layout i am copying the name into the description section also and i am clicking on okay when i clicked on okay you can see over here my layout or my template is saved now i want to see the output so i am clicking on view report when i clicked on view report it will generate the output so you can see over here i had hard coded the segment 1 means po number so this is the data related to that particular po okay so this is the general report which we will generate you can download the report in different formats from here 
that you already knows but now we have to implement this concept of sub template so how to implement the concept of sub template for that we have to prepare the sub template first and we have to call that sub template into this main template okay so our third step is create sub template so this is my report suppose i am having this much of a data and all this thing but here what is here here is an oracle logo but that was not visible properly so we will call this oracle logo by using the sub template only so for that we have to create the sub template so i am having one word document so what i have to do so first i have to declare the template so i am writing over here in brackets question marks then template then colon the name of the template suppose i am giving oracle then after we have to end this template so i am writing end template and here we have to give the logo which we want to add so i am copying this into our notepad where i am writing all the steps okay in this third step we have to do this so instead of this logo i am copying one logo so this is my oracle logo then i have to save this template as rtf files so i had saved this file by using the name sub template dot rtf okay i'm just closing this template now what is the fourth step i want to download main template on local machine and call this sub template so we have to go to oracle fusion instance so this is my fusion instance so now i have to click this setting icon then here is an edit layout and i clicked on edit layout it will download the template for me so i'm just opening that template okay i had opened that template so i don't want this logo so first i'm deleting this logo then i have to call the template so before calling the template i want to tell you what is the syntax for that so here is the syntax to import the sub template so first we have to import the sub template and then we have to call the sub template so the syntax is import xdo xsl and path of the sub template then name of the sub template dot xsb so for that we have to upload this sub template into the oracle fusion instance first so i am changing one thing i am writing fourth step as upload the sub template to oracle fusion instance and this one will be the fifth steps so i am going to the oracle fusion instance so i am going to the catalog then now i am in the catalog now i am clicking on new and here is the sub template so i am clicking on this upload button here i can upload the sub template so i am choosing the sub template from my desktop so this is my sub template uh, it's selected the file format is rtf and here is the locale locale is nothing but the language or locale is english or english india i can select anyone i am clicking on ok when i clicked on ok it will upload the template you can see over here the checkbox is checked over here now i have to save this sub template so save this sub template with the same name which you had given to the template so i had saved that sub template with the name sub template only so i am writing that and in description also i am writing same i am clicking on ok when i clicked on ok you can see over here it is denoting that it is saved now i am going back to the catalog page again you can see over here my sub template is uploaded if i clicked on more then here is the properties and you can see over here my file is sub template my file type is here you can see object type is rtf but which is uploaded into the format that is xsv means you can see over here com composite signature is dot xsv then i want the path it is my path so here is a location you can copy this location and where is my main template so okay we will write this in the notepad only then we will paste into the main template so i'm right i'm copying the same line and pasting over here and i have to give the path so i'm copying this and i'm pasting it over here so in path what we have to do we don't have to give this shared name after shared what is there you have to give this so this is my path only then after what is the my template name my template name is here is my template name sub template so i'm copying the same over here then how to call that template for calling i'm having the syntax i'm copying that here so here is the 
call template and then template name our template name is oracle so i am giving that oracle so where we had written this oracle here we had written the oracle this is my template name that's why i had written over here oracle okay now i am copying this entire statement and pasting into my main template and i am copying this call statement also and pasting into my main template okay so both things are copied now i am saving this template so i had save this and i am closing this one now i am in the oracle fusion instance so i am closing this i am going to my layout i am clicking on edit then you can see over here already one template is there i am deleting this template and then i am clicking on add new layout so here is the option for upload i clicked up. i have to give the layout name so i am giving the same layout name then after i am selecting the template file then i have to give the file format that is rtf and then i have to select the local our local is english india then i have to click on upload so you can see over here it is saved now i have to click on view report to check the output so my output screen is loading it is loaded and you can see over here the logo is changed and we can say that we are calling that particular logo from the sub template so this is the video for the sub template in oracle fusion in next video we are going to see the concept of translation in oracle fusion if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe my channel technical talks with naresh to get more videos on oracle sql plsql oracle application oaf and other technologies thank you